Okay, early morning I wanted to show you my big Abutia odorata and the fruit set. So this one flowered. I had three flower spades come out. This was the first one. And look at the fruit. It's really developing quite well. Those other ones are catching up. This was the first one to pop. Popped uh, a week or so before the second one. And uh, look at the pollination I got. I mean, this thing was just loaded full of um, wasps and hornets. You really seem to like this. And uh, I had this flower before and it did set seed, but it wasn't as warm a summer as we've been having this year. And the, I don't think the fruit ever really developed. Uh, fully and never you know never it, it just kind of continued to slowly develop over the winter and then kind of dropped off and um, I never collected any of those seeds so I have no idea if they're viable I just let them fall on the ground um, and nothing has germinated but this it's kind of dry here so but anyway that is the seed that's developing and I am hoping that it does fully ripen because I want to try it. It's supposed to taste pretty good. It's supposed to have quite a nice kind of tropical flavor to it. Um, I've read a bunch of different things, a little bit of apricot, a little bit of mango, a little bit of guava, but I've also heard that different trees can kind of have different, um, slightly different flavors. So it is just, we're just in the second week of August. So we have another six weeks of pretty warm weather ahead of us um, we have a heat wave coming starting today actually and uh, october is usually pretty warm too so um you know we can have a lot of days uh, still in the 70s and that in october so we will see if these actually ripen i sure hope so i mean <laughs> all these seeds actually ripen i would have probably a thousand or so uh, seeds so anyway zoom in real close they're getting there thanks for watching